guys assalamualaikum how are you all so i hope you all are doing great awesome and amazing by the grace of all my children well let me introduce myself i am labi batahsin i am in grade 8 in mirpur khan public school and college and today we're gonna learn a very interesting topic which is collocations well what is collocations we're gonna learn about that later but before that, let's just give an example so that it will be easier for you to understand what is collocation. So first, we choose an, a word which is ability and it's a noun, right? So what type of words can we use before or after a word? Yep, that's actually called collocations. So now we can say that she has a good ability, but it doesn't sound so standard. Other than that, if we say that she has a really exceptional ability, it sounds more good, it sounds like more specific. So yep, yeah, that's what collocations mean, that you have to put some adjective or adverb before or after a word to like specify that word even better. So now let's see some collocations of ability. So yep. Yeah, First thing first, we got exceptional ability. So, exceptional ability, we all know what does that mean. It means something which is exceptional than the normal people, right? So, yep. Yeah. So, let's just go through an example. So, we see here, my mom has an exceptional management ability. So, it means what? It means my mother has something exceptional which others don't have. So what's that thing? That's a management. Yep, we can say many more things like um, I have an exceptional ability of presentations. Yeah, like that. So let's move on to some other words. Whoa, now we got extraordinary ability. Well, so let's write an example of extraordinary ability. So I have an extraordinary ability. Of what can we say? We can say of presentation. So yep, let's write that down. So yeah, it means I have an extraordinary ability of presentation, which means like I do presentations like any other person do. I do something a bit different, a bit extraordinary, which is not ordinary in like a very easy definition if I have to give. So yeah, now let's move on to another word, which is great ability. So now we can say that Sir Isaac Newton has a great ability of uh, physics like that and there are like many other words so do you guys want to give some like words that we can use before or after ability like an artistic ability or a musical ability or like creative ability remarkable ability like that can you guys give us some more words that we can use before or after ability please let us know in the comment box so that many other people can also learn as well. And I think that's all about today, that today we learn words about ability, that what can be used before or after ability. And yeah, that's what collocations mean. So I hope you guys liked it. If you do, then please give us a thumbs up. And yeah, just comment down below what other words we can also Right, so yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Utte gaye, pure jete hi paro. Kintu kichhu tei thama jabe na. Shuru ta shab shumoi kochhi no taro. Kintu shab holle shuru to ekhan thekei. Shamne onik bad hajbe. Arey bad hai. তোমাকে করবে আরো শক্তিশালী জীবন তো আর পৃষ্ঠাগোনা পাণ্ডুলিপি নয় এটা সীমাহীন ও অজানা
লক্ষ্য স্থির করে পরিশ্রম করো আর বিকাশ ঘটাও তোমার সুপ্ত প্রতিভার অনেকের মধ্যে একজন নয় হতে হবে অদ্বিতীয় অনন্য এবং আমরা তোমার পাশে আছি প্রশিক্ষক হিসেবে তোমার ভুলকে মেনে নেওয়ার ধৈর্য আমাদের আছে কারণ আমরা জানি ভুল করাই তোমার শেখার প্রমাণ আমরা এস এস সি দু হাজার একুশ শিক্ষার্থীদের জন্য অসাধারণ একটি কোর্স ডিজাইন করেছি পরীক্ষা শেষ হওয়া মাত্রই চলে এসো অনেকের মধ্যে অন্যতম হতে সবাই একসাথে উদযাপন করব তোমার শ্রেষ্ঠত্বের বিজয় বাংলাদেশ শিখর ছোয়ার অঙ্গীকার